Hi, I'm Samantha Sinavaratna, and today I'm going to show you how I make balsamic vinaigrette marinated skirt steak with tomato salad. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing we have to do is marinate our skirt steak. That's going to take about four to six hours, so you want to make sure you plan ahead. I'm going to start with one cup of my Marzetti Simply Balsamic Vinaigrette dressing and marinade. You can do so much more with it than just dress a salad, which is delicious, of course. But here, I'm going to use it as a marinade, get lots of that bold flavor into my steak, and it's only 50 calories a serving. So one cup of the balsamic vinaigrette, and to that, I'm going to add a little bit of brown sugar. You can use light or dark. One tablespoon of chopped fresh thyme. Two tablespoons of grainy mustard. I like grainy mustard. I just think it's a stronger flavor, but you could use yellow mustard or Dijon, whatever you have. To that, I'm also going to add some garlic cloves, and I think the best way to add garlic to a marinade is just to grate it which means that your fingers are gonna smell a little garlicky for a minute, but it just gets in there. All the juiciness of the garlic really comes out and sort of blends beautifully with the rest of the marinade and really gets into the meat in a nice way. When it gets too small to grate, you can just toss it in there. Spare your fingers. Okay, now I'll just stir that all together. I'm mixing my marinade right in the dish that I'm going to marinate my meat in just to save an extra step. Make sure you choose something that is non-reactive, like ceramic or glass. And this is the time when you can taste your marinade and add a little bit of salt and pepper if you want. Mmm, it's sweet and delicious. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Here I have my skirt steak, and I like to cut it up into pieces like this as opposed to having the one big piece from the butcher. So into my marinade it goes. Perfect. And then the last little thing is I like to take a sharp paring knife and sort of jab the steak a little bit here and there just to help the marinade sort of penetrate into the meat. Swish it around a little bit to make sure it's all well coated. I'll cover this with a little bit of plastic or a piece of wax paper and pop that into the fridge about four to six hours. Into the fridge to marinate. Okay, so my steak has been marinating and now it's ready to cook. But the first thing we wanna do is take off some of that excess marinade because it has a tendency to burn. Pat them dry a little bit. Let's see where we're at with the heat. It's pretty hot. Let's add a little oil. You really want your cast iron skill to be nice and hot so you can get a good sear on that steak. Once we get all the excess marinade off, I'm gonna season my steaks generously. We can do the other side when we get them in the pan. And I like my skirt steak medium rare, so I'm looking to cook it for about maybe five to six minutes total, about three minutes per side. This one is a little bit skinnier than this one, so that one's gonna take a little less time. Look at that. Beautiful, nice char. Okay, so it's been about six minutes total, and I can feel there's still sort of they still are a little bit soft in the center, a little bit rare in the center, which is what I want. They're gonna continue to cook even after we pull them off the heat. And I'm gonna set those aside, let them rest for at least 10 to 15 minutes. Longer is even better. So while my steaks are resting, I'm gonna to put together this super simple tomato salad. All it is is cherry tomatoes, sliced in half with a little bit of lemon juice, lemon zest, parsley, and olive oil. Super duper simple, but it really complements the steak well. This is very persnickety, but I just think they look so much prettier when you cut them down the equator versus cutting them from the poles. I think this is just the perfect thing to do to tomatoes in the summertime when they're so sweet that they're like candy. So they don't really need that much preparation, you know, a little, a little lemon, a little olive oil, and, and they're perfect. I'll do a little bit of lemon zest, but I always grate it with the, the trough facing up so that you can sort of 
grate your lemon and see how much you have and then decide whether or not to stop versus doing it the other way where it just falls into your food and you have no control. <laughs> a little bit of lemon juice. Of course, we chop fresh parsley. Basil would be nice, cilantro would be nice. Whichever tender herbs float your boat, that's what you should use. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and a little bit of olive oil. That's it. Now we can slice our steak. Let's slice. Okay, so my steaks have rested, my salad is ready. All we have to do is plate it up. I love slicing skirt steak because it's so easy to see the grain on a skirt steak. So you see those lines that go this way? You just want to cut in the opposite direction. Look at that, nicely cooked. All that juice that comes out of the steak, that's all delicious and just gonna add juicy deliciousness to your steak. So I always pour it on afterwards. Now I can top it with my tomato salad. I think all the juices sort of meld together and it just becomes really good. But you could serve it on the side if you prefer. But I also think it looks really pretty and summery. I'm just gonna serve it with a little bit of extra balsamic vinaigrette on the side. I'm so excited to taste this. <laughs> just for a little extra. Mm. The balsamic vinaigrette just makes the meat really tender, number one. Number two, it's adding a lot of flavor. It's a little bit fruity, it's tangy, it's bold. The Marzetti Simply Balsamic Vinaigrette really gets in there. In just four hours, it just penetrates the meat. It's flavorful, it's seasoned well, and delicious from the inside out. And it goes so nicely with these perfect little tomatoes. It's so good now, and I think tomorrow it's gonna make a beautiful steak salad with a little bit more of that vinaigrette. I hope you'll try this. You can get the recipe at food52.com.